Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up your site and make it secure HTTPS. We're using SiteGround hosting, and that means we'll be using cPanel, and cPanel is used on most of the major hosts, so I expect this will be available for you as well. First thing I need to do is to have a domain name to install it on. I'm actually using a subdomain here, demo1.wpbusinessclub.com. So the first thing I need to do is create that. So now we have a domain we can install software on. Go back to cPanel Home. The, that's where I launch my subdomains. If you want to add a domain or transfer a domain, you use the section up here. But now I have that done, I should be able to use the WordPress auto installer, which actually you can click from there or click from there, it doesn't matter. So that now comes up and we need to choose the install option. Now I want to make it an SSL uh, site, but if I choose SSL now, I'll have to provide my own certificate. I want to use the auto certificate features. So I will make it HTTP to start with, but I want it www. Now I need to find it on my list. There it is. And I don't want to put it in a subdirectory. I want it to be the main site. So I'll leave that blank. I'll scroll down. Um, all this information can be changed, except uh, we do need to copy that. And don't bother, because I'm going to change the password as soon as this is set up. You need an admin email that works. Otherwise, you could find yourself stuck without being able to use the recovery function. We won't choose to put any uh, plugins in for now. We won't choose a theme for now. We'll just install. There we are. Um, now installed, we can log in. And the nice thing is that the system has logged us in straight away. And we are now ready with our site. So it all seems to be working fine. But what we want to do now is to make it a HTTPS. So to do that, we need to go back into cPanel. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find here we are, let's encrypt SSL. So, install a new one, it's the domain I want, there's my uh, email address, click install. And there we are, the in installation has been successful. So if we go back to the website, What we can do now is go to HTTPS. <coughs> and you see that works. But what we want to do now is make sure that it stays on HTTPS. So we do need to log in again because obviously HTTPS is different to HTTP as far as the system is concerned. And we want to go to our Hyperlinks, whoops, wrong place. Our permalinks. And 
and we'll change it to the custom structure. Actually, I'll have post name only. And you can see that the front of the URL is still wrong, so we need to go to general and change those over. Actually, I'm UK, so let's change that to the UK. And again, it's going to ask me to log in again. Don't worry, I'll be changing these using usernames and passwords on this site. So before you are even uploaded. So there we are. We need to purge the cache. And that should be enough. Although there is a plugin you can use to force uh, people to HTTPS. So you may want to install that as well. Now this is a brand new site, so in a way it's not really needed, but um, I'll show you how to do it anyhow. If we go to add new, and we search for, um, I think it's really simple SSL. Yeah, that's it. You can install this plugin and it will make sure that you don't have any content that's pointing to the non SSL oh we got jetpack underneath there so there we are now we can just clean up some of these things on here which are installed automatically by our host SiteGround. There we are. So the next important thing would always be to install your um, backup program. So we'll do that as well. Now I use Updraft but for a simple backup, which is what I need to get this plugin started, I can use the free version. And then I can give it my login details and upgrade it to my paid version afterwards. So we'll just go to settings. Give myself backup. I only need the database backed up. And I now have, it'll only take a few seconds, I now have a baseline sorted out for my site. So it's ready, in this case, to run some test plugins. And there we are, we did it in 10 minutes. Not bad. For more info, visit wpbusinessclub.com.